What up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be eating some raw beef sushi. Now, some of y'all might be like, man, that's a waste of meat. Some of y'all might be like, man, is that even safe to eat? But actually, here in Korea, it's a tasty treat. I've never had it before, so just wait and see what I think about it. It's looking pretty good, I can't even lie. I got myself three orders, five per order. Came out to about 17 bones, so not bad. I mean, this is a good amount of raw beef and rice. I mean, this should fill me up. Seems pretty clean, seems pretty healthy. I'm getting some wafts already of some sesame, sesame oil. You can see some sesame seeds sprinkled on top as well. I'm not sure if they added any other seasonings or any other kinds of sauces to this mix, but um, we gonna learn today. Now I have had raw beef before here in Korea a few times, uh, but never in sushi form. This is looking right up my alley, just bite size, just one bite and, uh, and down the gullet. So. Let's just get into this. I'm gonna start off with, should I go from back to front, front to back? I'll go from uh, back to front here. So here's what we're working with. As you can see, it just uh, thinly kind of julienned strips of raw beef sitting on some rice. They didn't give me any kind of uh, soy sauce or wasabi or anything. So I figure they just want you to eat it like this. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Let me go in for another. That's delicious to me. Some of, I'm hoping you guys, well, it's inevitable. Some of you guys are going to be grossed out by this. But I mean, if you like sushi, like regular, like fish sushi, I would definitely give this a chance. Mmm. Where to even start? First thing is the texture. I mean, it's sushi. Texture is a big thing. Let me start with that. Melts, it's melting in my mouth. I mean, this wasn't even like high call. I don't know what, I don't think it's the most expensive cuts of beef I'm, I'm working with, but whatever it is, I don't know if they like marinated or what they did. Well, it's like butter. The rice is pretty dense and then just a combo. It's a good combination of textures here. I couldn't ask for any better texture, to be honest. Like seriously, minimal chews to get this to get this down. It's just dissolving. Um, flavor, which is also, I mean, it's pretty important, isn't it? Let me just say right off the bat, it's tasting clean. A little tad of sweetness. I'm sure they must have threw in some sugar um, with that sesame oil or yeah, some some kind of sweetness coming through, but not overly sweet. It's not. It ain't like sweet sweet, but it's like sweet sweet. I'm just devouring these. I, uh, this is gonna be a quick video. Honestly, for my personal taste buds, I think I'd add, you know, more salt into this get a little bit more of a savory like i said it's not sweet but it's just that mild kind of undertone of sweetness mixed in with that kind of i mean sesame oil 
if you've never had it before, I mean, this can be pretty salty, I guess. This is something, I guess, just to try to organize my thoughts here. This is something that I would love to eat as like a soju side dish, I think. But not on a heavy night of drinking. On a light night of drinking. Maybe I would like to eat this, enjoy something like this, sitting at home, get a bottle of soju, maybe a can of beer. You know, turn off all the lights. Play some tunes. And just enjoy Slowly, I'm eating kind of fast because I'm hungry. This is the first food of the day. The fuller I'm getting, <laughs> the more I st I'm starting to crave some like some regular sushi, some salmon or something. That's good though. That is good. It's one of those meals that for me at least, you know, I feel full, I feel satisfied, but I don't feel too bad about myself after eating it. Uh, that could depend on the person. Some of you might be <laughs> feeling real queasy right about now, but um, it is what it is. I don't know if they sell this wherever you live. I feel like in other parts of the world, raw beef can be kind of a, kind of a weird thing, maybe a, a delicacy of some sorts, but it's pretty popular here in Korea. So i um, glad I tried it. It was good. I would definitely eat it again. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's uh, who likes sushi and who likes raw beef. So that's about it for this video. But one last thing. I gotta give a shout out to Craig. Thank you for supporting my Patreon. And uh, appreciate all y'all. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Wait, just one more thing. This is for anybody who's potentially wondering about some of the longer effects of that juice cleanse I just did. Well, it was a few days ago now. Um, but those were my last, my last two videos are kind of about that and I haven't said anything. So, uh, I just wanted to, if anyone's curious, just wanted to maybe add my final thoughts. I don't really feel any different now than I did before I started it. Um, I don't feel like it cleansed all the toxins out of my body and I'm starting fresh again. Don't feel like that at all. I feel basically, I don't, there's no distinguish, distinguishable difference. However, I do think maybe I lost about a pound give or take before i tried it i thought maybe my stomach would shrink down and then i would get fuller faster after i got done with it but i didn't really find that to be true maybe if you went for a bit longer um that that could be the case so i guess i would just say in the end um you know again no medical advice obviously but everyone's different if i were to give myself advice about doing a juice cleanse i would say yo do it for like five days if i really want to if i'm serious about um, like maybe shrinking my stomach down or trying to lose some some pounds for me I would say all right just go into it and go for five days and see if you can do five days I think three days it just really didn't do much for me and if I wanted to lose a pound there's probably easier ways to do it I think five days I would I've never done five days but I would recommend more than three days or just do it a different way I don't know but obviously it ain't no miracle cure. And again, in the last video, the weight you might've seen me lose on the scale, that's not actual weight, water weight, whatever things in, in my system getting flushed out. Don't think about that too much, but that's it for now. Peace.